Alright, so I haven't made a video in, I think, a week. That's because I had, I got busy about doing some work. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys Jelly Bro CM10. This is 7-24-2012 version. Because that's today's date. Well, right now it's actually 7-25, but since it's 12-42, that's not his 7-25 isn't out yet. So I'm actually going to show you guys how to install it first. Um, press and hold both volume keys and the power button until you feel a vibration. You'll get into this. Use volume down to go to recovery and press power. And wait for like the Google screen to go by. Um, some people don't know how to install stuff still, so that's why I show you this. Um, I do have the newest recovery, but it's not the touch one because I kind of prefer this one. But it's just preference. Choose which which one you like. If you're on ICS, make sure to go to mounts and storage, and wipe. I mean, a format system. That's only if you're coming from ICS. If you're already on Jelly Bean, go down to wipe data factory reset. Go to yes. Go to wipe cache. Go down to yes, and hit power on yes. Then advanced and wipe Dalvik cache. Once you've done all that, go to install zip. Um, you can't see it, but that says choose zip. Press power and find where you downloaded this. If you put it on the root directory of your SD card, it'll be right here. But since I downloaded this directly to my phone, it's under my downloads. So you would find right here. CM. Let me get off of it. CM10 2012-07-24 This is the Euroskank Jelly Bro CM10 So you click on that and install it and then You would install the G apps. I'll provide links to everything But I downloaded the G apps with Goo Manager And so you just find the G apps right there where it says G apps JB make sure you don't use the ICS ones Um, Then go back Go back and reboot system now. Let me pull this out. Get it focused. Kind of focused. I don't know why it's so orange. Why is it so orange? And here's the boot up animation. It's kind of like an um, like old game system. I, I kind of like it. The first boot, if this is a clean install, the first boot is going to take the longest. So just remember that. Right off the bat, you get the welcome screen. Just hit start. You have a Google account? I do, but I'm not going to sign into it. Make it Google. Not now. Allow Google to use location stuff. Okay. Next, this phone belongs to me. Hit next. Next. Set up complete and go to finish. Hit OK. And this is immediately after you install the ROM. As you can see, you do get toggles and you do have this CyanogenMod statistics. Open up the app drawer. That'll pop up, I think, twice. So when you go back and you go back into it, it should pop up again. Oh, that's just ICS, I guess. It does come with Apollo Music Player. I don't have any songs on my phone. Um, let's see. DevTools, DSP Manager. That's signage mod with Apollo. It does come with the Google Now um, voice search thing. File Manager. Play Music. Raw Manager, which I use to download this sometimes. I usually just get it off his Twitter account, which I'll, I'll post links to his Twitter account too. Terminal Emulator and Super User. I prefer Super User opposed to Super SU, but... It's just a matter of preference. And as you can see, Android 4.1.1. It comes with the stock signage in my kernel. I usually install a Franco kernel. This is the ROM that I've been using for the week that I was gone. I just did a fresh install. That way all of my apps and information wasn't on here. But this is the ROM I have been using for a week. And I have to say it is one of the best. And as you can see, the build date is Tuesday, July 24th. It is now Wednesday, but it's also 
1247. So that bill is not out yet. Let's go back. The first thing you'll notice actually is performance. With Franco Kernel, I was able to overclock to 1.8, I believe. And it was actually stable. With this one, you get 1.35. So 1.3 gigahertz. Let's go up. You do have the sign engine mod profiles. You can turn those on and on or off if you want to. Let's go to advanced. This is specific to the Galaxy Nexus. Kind of mess with color hack stuff. And then I was the CPU again. These are really the only things present in CM10 so far. Well, it's sign engine mod. I don't know why Bluetooth is on. Um, let's go to system, status bar. You can choose your clock style. You can have do not show the clock or center clock. AM, PM style. You can have small. Battery icon style. You can have icon percentage or hit. Excuse me. And now you can see a little percentage. I'd focus in, but then I'd have to refocus back out to this. So you can show the notification count. Signal status. I don't really mess with that because I don't understand the DBMs and all that. But if you do, go ahead and mess with that. These are the widget buttons, which are those four up there for Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and sound. So, say you want mobile data up there, and you want your screen orientation. You can add as many of these, and then you just scroll between those up there. The flashlight does not work, it's one of the few things. You can see flash mode down there doesn't work. You can choose the order. So if you want GPS underneath that, you can change that. If you want data at the bottom, let's go back. Close your on charge, change, I mean. You can have the haptic feedback on, off, global. Wallpaper, font size. All right, where most of this stuff is for now is in the uh, lock screen though. Screen security, you can just choose if you want face unlock, pattern, pin. Let's go back. You can have a custom background for your lock screen. So if you want two different, like if you want a wallpaper on your lock screen and then you want a different one on your home screen, you can have your own owner info right there. Weather, which I really like this weather. I don't like to use metric because I, I like it in Fahrenheit. Let's go back. You can have your calendar enabled. It's so like it scrolls through in like a little ticker kind of thing. I don't really use that, but if you use that, then, you know. And also, you can change shortcuts. So, say right here you want, I don't have a custom app installed. Um, Apollo, there you go. So, if you want Apollo right there, you can even change the icon. So, you want it to look like the other stock ones. Just choose that in the music. And then right here you want... Um, phone, I guess. I don't know if you would want phone right there. And then find phone in here. Well, not all of them is going to be in there, but that's just a match. So they all match. Then hit save. And it just says right there it's saved. So when we go back, hit a little click. And now here's the custom jelly bean. You can see the weather just appear. And now we have all of these custom unlock options where we can go into for customization that's actually pretty much it I mean you go in here you have volume rocker wake I don't know why auto rotate oh you can also change the rotation by the way so if you want it to rotate 180 degrees which is completely upside down you can do that because well you have on screen buttons so it kind of makes sense Let's go into the app drawer. Let's go to camera real quick. Let's take a picture of my knife. I don't know why flash is on, but and as you can see, you can go from camera. I don't know what's wrong with the camera. Let's try to go back to it. Right, here we go. So you can go from camera to pictures. 
Yes, that's a roll of SpongeBob duct tape, by the way. <laughs> Let's try the camera again. And, I mean, that's like pretty much it. Like, Google Now works. See, you can press and hold home and go up. I have slow connection. As you can see, I'm only on G. Maybe you can't see it. But, let's hit the little mic. Weather. See if it, how fast it loads. Oh, that was actually pretty fast. Cause my, like, it's just this horrible service out here. But it's pretty much it. I don't think it comes with anything. It does come with the signage mod wallpapers though. It's pretty cool. This one's actually my favorite here. I don't know why. I just like that one. I don't like that clock. That, that clock's ugly. <laughs> but I mean, you can just see how fast it is. Just, just go over to widgets. Apps, yeah, widgets. See how, I mean, that's just. And you go in here to settings. Long press on the Wi Fi. It loads up the Wi Fi. Long press on Bluetooth. I mean, everything just opens up, you know, instantly. And after installing my, I don't know, what, like 179 apps, it still runs this, this smooth. So it's not just that I don't have anything installed. Pull up multitasking. Just swipe, swipe. And that's how easy it is to get rid of all your apps running. But that was my review of CM10 Jelly Bro on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus.